Hello and welcome to another video from the team at Airplane Manager. We're always working to simplify the way you fly, and today we're excited to share our latest improvements designed to save you time and enhance your workflow. In this update, you'll see a refreshed UI, more powerful crew management tools, and greater control over passenger details. Let's jump right in. Here we are on the newly redesigned crew page. First, let's head over to the settings area here at the top. This is the new area where you can select your preferred sorting order and enable the auto select remaining legs option. Let's check out the new cruise pilot designation. For each flight, you can toggle this setting on or off. If activated, this designation will evaluate as second in command in your crew reports. Once turned on, you can toggle the passenger's leg until it reads cruise to assign them the status. Your crew will be able to see the designation on your trip sheets if assigned. Once turned on, you can toggle the passenger's leg until it reads cruise to assign them the status. Now let's move down and hover over a crew member's info card. You'll notice this has received a small update, showing the international progress bar if they're an international traveler. If you don't see it, you can update the traveler's status to international and get a quick idea of how complete their profile is. Further down, you'll see the improved messages section. Click on the envelope under trip sheet or itinerary to add a passenger to your send list. You can see that contacts and uploaded files are now clearer and easier to read, showing both file type and who uploaded each item. Finally, notice that warnings and history are now immediately visible without needing to expand any sections. If you need more historical information, simply click Load More. Let's navigate to the new Passenger Groups page next. You'll find it added to the Departments and Passenger area of Airplane Manager. Here you can easily create and manage groups, perfect for keeping families or teams organized when they don't fall under a formal department. Let's quickly create a group and see how this works. Enter a name for the group, then click Add Group. Once you have a group, you can search for passengers and easily add them to the group. Once your group is set up, you can effortlessly assign the entire group to a flight by simply searching for the group name and selecting it. All group members will be instantly added to your trip. Next, let's check out the updated passengers page. Before we dive in, take a quick peek at your settings. If you've used CIFL designations recently, you'll find yourself automatically in advanced mode. Otherwise, you'll start in simple mode, where adding passengers is as easy as toggling them on or off each leg. Let's start by looking at this new flight with no passengers. If you have fewer than 20 passengers in your system, all passengers appear in the recommended list by default. For larger passenger lists, you'll designate a new frequent flyer status within their profile settings to streamline this recommendation process. You have the option to tie a frequent flyer to a department in order to narrow down recommendations to passengers who are most likely to be a part of your flight. After turning on Mark as Frequent Flyer, choose which departments you'd like the passenger to show in the recommended list for a flight. In simple mode, adding passengers is straightforward. Just search for the passenger's name, select them, and use our new leg selection dialog to quickly assign them to multiple legs. Now let's switch over to advanced mode. Notice how hovering over a passenger's assigned leg reveals more detailed controls. Here you can set the passenger as lead, change their CIFL designation, or apply specific passenger codes for each leg individually. You can also easily apply the same settings across all legs for a passenger using the Apply to All Legs button. Removing someone from a leg is equally simple with the Remove button. Let's add a new passenger in advanced mode. When adding passengers in advanced mode, default settings load directly from the passenger profiles. You can quickly adjust these settings right here as you add passengers. Lastly, let's try adding an entire passenger group. Simply search the group's name and select it, Choose your legs, and the passengers are immediately added with their default settings. You can make individual adjustments afterward if needed. These enhancements reflect our ongoing commitment to delivering the best possible user experience in the industry. Thank you for flying with Airplane Manager, and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.